what we call it is he says he provides useful and entertaining readings in his musical renditions to span the years from 2000, uh, from 1960s until, I think what he say, about to the 90s approximately? Because I don't think he goes past the 90s. Yeah, the 60s to the 90s. So um, his, his readings tend to be problem solving. He's also medium and he uh, also is a, like he can channel have people that are coming into your life that are been deceased. So if you do have an opportunity to have a session with him, um, grab a piece of paper and pencil, pencil or you know, pen. Who, ha who has a who has pencil anymore? <laughs> uh, grab a grab a pen and paper um, because if he tells you a song to look up and you want to look up this song and then um, then you want to listen to the songs of, of, of the words of the song that he's going to uh, tell you about. So welcome, Roy, right into the table. Welcome to the stage, my friend. Okay, any, I'll just go straight into it. Anyone like to ask a question? And I'll start the reading straight away. Okay, so Royden loves to open it up right, in, right now. Anybody in the room wants to have a reading, um, unmute yourself or raise your hand. He loves to do readings. So we'd like to have a reading. Joyce, would you like to go, Nancy? <laughs> go ahead, Joyce, all right. I've been stalking you, Royden. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Joyce, what would you like to ask about, mate? Oh, I thought you would. Um, do you get a reading sometimes without my asking a question? Or is it better for me well, to have With these demonstrations, they're what I call mini readings. So keeping a, a question helps me keep it short. Okay. Um, I've just retired. I'm looking for ways to fill my time. What should I be looking for or at? Okay. Now, I'm not saying artsy-fartsy, even though I'm seeing artistic sort of stuff at the moment here. I'm seeing sculpting and painting in front of me here. I'm just doing this needing something on a creative level here. It doesn't necessarily have to be artistic. It could be home crafts. Okay. Now, the thing with what I'm seeing here, I'm also seeing dollars coming from it. So consider doing the, making up the crafts or doing the crafts and then selling the produce. Mm. It's about yeah. generating a little bit of an extra income to make things a little bit easier for yourself. Great. Now, um, okay, I'm... Um, it's also about self-expression. I'm actually hearing the song. I've got the music in me. So you've got all the artistic or ability, everything you need inside. You just have to let it out. Hmm. Now, what they are saying is, Avoiding what they call, what my guys call the old people type activities, <laughs> like lawn bowls and <laughs> just as an example there. Uh, the feeling here is you may be retired, but I'm hearing the song Young at Heart. Mm. So you're still very much a young person on the inside, even though your body might not be as young as your heart is. Yeah. So uh, old people, persons type activities would just be like hanging around a bunch of old fogies. <laughs> Definitely not your thing. Okay. Now I'm also picking up on things associated with dancing. So I'm hearing mm. Dancing in the Dark by Bruce Springsteen. I'm hearing River of the Night, which is about dancing by DeBarge. Mm. And a dreadful song. I don't call it a dreadful song because I hear it that often here for different reason here. 
I love the nightlife. By the water, can't dance for nuts. Alicia Bridges. Say that again. The song I love the nightlife. Okay. Oh, that one. Yeah, down at summer. By the water, can't dance for nuts. Alicia Bridges. Uh, so uh, it's all about just to me. This is also highlighting dancing there's something else you might want to take up here more for a social sort of thing mm. okay okay now that's about all i've got on that question for you choice hopefully you've been helpful <laughs> thank you yes now i ask the next person Yeah. Um, um, um. Hi, are you looking for another uh, person to read for? Yeah, yeah sure. Oh. Okay. This is Diane. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Diane. How are you? Now, with these little demonstration things, I'll get a question from you to sort of keep my readings as short as possible. Okay. Well, otherwise, I've got to spend the whole half hour on one person. Otherwise, we don't want to do that. Okay. So, um, should I keep my question short? Uh, keep it short and to the point. All right. Um, all right. Uh, I have three children. One is my youngest, and um, he. Uh, <laughs> he, he just gives me some concerns all the time, but he's doing, he's doing great. He's a hardworking young man, yeah. but, but I worry about him. Yeah, no, I'm hearing the song Reckless by Australian Crawl. Um, no, not now. When he was younger. Um, oh, didn't let me finish. Okay. It's not about him being reckless and taking risks. It's about him not thinking things through. Okay. And sort of jumping and then thinking. All right. Can you say, can you tell me more? <laughs> because that, that's not quite... um, For me, it's nothing you need to be concerned about. Good. Um, I've been told to use the expression he'll grow out of it. He's married. He'll grow out of it. So even if he's married, he'll grow out of it. It's only a stage he's going through. Um, nothing you need to be concerned about with him here. Now, I'll go deal more with the middle child than I do the youngest for some reason here. Yeah. Really? It right. just feels like middle child might be holding back a few things from you that you shouldn't know about that he doesn't want you to worry about. The middle child? The middle child. Okay. That's interesting. I'm because I'm closest to the middle child. <laughs> That's probably why he doesn't want to worry you. Ah, okay. All right. You know, I'm, I'm just feeling sort of like an unsettledness, um, like he's anxious over something at the moment. Okay. It's like an anxiety sort of sensation that I'm feeling. All right, that's possible. So, you know, all you need to do is get him to open up and talk talk things through and both you, you sort of make him see that things are not as bad as what he might be taking to be. All right. But as far as the youngest is concerned, I'm not seeing anything there you need really need to be worried about. Uh 
Well, that's good to know. I have a I have a, a third child, an old old who's the oldest. Yeah, no. Here's the stuff in this Mally Bull anyway, so won't go there. <laughs> Say that so again. He's as stubborn as a Mally Bull. He's the stubbornest of all. Well, um, hmm. As, um, okay. He's been set in his ways at the at his age, so sure. you know. And stubbornness, as I said, the old Australian expression I'm using is stubbornness, a Mally Bull. Um, Mally Bull's sort of like an oxen that they used to sort of pull wagons and this can be stubborn as a mule. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm, that, that's, that's kind of how he is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's been on his own for a long time. Yeah, no. He's a bit set in his ways. Um, He's just going one day at a time, which is all he can do at the moment here. So, yeah. All right. So I should concentrate on the on the middle child more, huh? On the middle child more. Yep. Yeah. All right. Okay, I'll do that. Now, um. Okay, I'm feeling. I think this is dealing more with you than your sons. I'm feeling like something around the chest area. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not too sure if this is reading this as asthma or whether this is just a simple cold. Okay. Uh, so it's just need to look after your health a little bit. All right. So it's more about me, huh? Yeah, it's more about you than these your sons. So I need to sort of concentrate a bit on, more on you than your sons, to be honest. Okay. Well, uh, I, I don't know. I'm pretty, pretty content at the moment. Well, as, as I said, it feels health issue to do with health more than contentment. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you just got to keep an eye on your health. All right. Whereas I like to jokingly say, go look after your elf and the rest of the garden gnomes. All right. Well, that's good to know. There's okay, that's about all I've got for you. All right. Hopefully you've been helpful in my old fashioned. <laughs> well, thank you. Take care. Appreciate you it. Too. Okay, it looks like I'm coming about time, so um, I'll be going looking for a piece of paper. Just close. Pay attention to it. I sometimes wake up with that. Now, anyone else like a reading? Hi. Hi. Now, what would you like to ask about? Um, more like the healing, types of healing practices like meditation, dealing with grief. I just want to find better ways to deal with my grief because my dad passed the cancer. I'm sorry for your loss. Now, Thank you. Okay, um, I am. Okay, I'll be a comment on what I'm feeling here, which is outside of your question here, because I'm feeling like he's sitting alongside you at the moment here. Yeah. I, I live in his house, I live in my dad's house. Uh, it's like he doesn't want you to worry. 
is all okay now? I'm using my terms, okay. not his. Um, but yeah, meditation, writing a letter. I don't know if you've ever thought about writing a letter mm -hmm. to him and expressing all your feelings in a letter, beginning and end. What about the letter? Do I put you the letter either, in a special place? You either it's all destroy the letter or get rid of the letter because it's all about a purging. Okay. Can I bury the letter? You bury the letter if you like. It's whatever you want to do with it. It's all about getting it. I'd rather away bury from it. You. Okay. So okay. Burning was just an example. It was all about getting it out of, out of your sight, out of your sort of region, away from you. Now, I've been told to tell you, talk about soft, relaxing music. Okay. Now, what I'm hearing, I'm not going to attempt to sing because it wouldn't work out too well because it's classical. Um, I know at times my voice is not good enough for pop songs, let alone trying to imitate classical instruments. My um, well, dad played the trombone in a Jackson State University. Yeah, no, I'm just hearing Anybody, like... He may have done concert. Yeah, I'm hearing like um, Vivaldi and that sort of thing. Okay. At least I'm not hearing the 1810 overture. That's one good thing. I have a niece and my nephew. Somebody's with child. You yeah, know, um, it's just, again, it's just about, I'm being told about relaxing music. That's why I said, at least I'm not hearing the 1810 overture, the one that they play that usually hit the cannons going off in a military salute as part of it. But um, it just feels like relaxing music just chilling. Don't worry about okay. trying to meditate at the moment because your heart and your mind's not in it. Okay. So trying to meditate when you don't feel like meditating, sort of like trying to sort of turn something that could be relaxing into a chore. Okay. So find relaxation in music and in externals. Okay. But know that your dad's proud of you and proud of what you've gone through and what you're going, going through and what you've achieved so far. Okay. Thank you. Okay. It looks like I'm getting the okay. wind up. So I'll hopefully I've been helpful in my little fashion. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll just go looking for this paint now. Okay. So. Uh, me, I'll just turn the camera off for me. Coming up next in, in um, room number one is Ricky Brandino, the quantum frequency healer. He's going to be doing some free chakra readings, um, chakra vibrational healing with singing bowls and help, um, help you activate your heart chakra. That's in room number one. Room number two is where we have the healers and readers for free five minute sessions. Angela is there for the next uh, hour and then we're gonna have Yale taking over. And um, okay. 
Okay, sorry about that one, Pin Haney. Can't even hear me. Okay, so uh, Roy is writing down a number. I want you guys to write down from zero to I thought I unmuted myself. This is the second time I've unmuted myself. Roy is offering a session valued at $120, uh, a one-hour session, a virtual, uh, you know, 100 in the chat if you want to win a session with him. Coming up next in the, in the playroom is Ricky Brandino as a frequent uh, quantum frequency healer. He uh, specializes in working with balancing his chakras, working with the healing machine, and he's offering free chakra readings with everybody. He's also doing a, a meditation. And we have uh, Allison Whitney coming up next in the main room, who's going to offer tools to help move you from um, your mind being in control of you to being in control of your mind. So um, before I bring uh, Allison up, I want you to guys to put from zero to 100 in the chat to win a session with Roy. Zero to 100, if you didn't win any sessions yet today, just put a number. And Roy's writing it down on a piece of paper. If you're listening to us from, um, from Facebook or, or YouTube, you need to be here in the Zoom room. We have six more hours left, guys. Well, halfway there. <laughs> So we have the main room and we have a lot of things going on behind the scenes, not only here in the main room, which is the you know, main activity, but we have the playroom activities happening every 30 minutes in room number one and room number two is where you have all your booking rooms, all your booking uh, appointments for free readings. Okay, so Roy, um, do we have a number for you? And I'll do a five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Yes, we've got a number. Five, four, three, Two and one. And we've got nine. A nine? Yeah. Nine. So, Patricia. Uh, Oh, well, congratulations, Patricia. You can follow Roy right now to room number 18 and with any Q&A to hang out with Roy and to talk to him. He is from Tasmania, Australia. It's already the next day for this guy. I think he's going to take a nap until we see him later on tonight in a few hours when he comes back on stage for the playroom. So thank you. Thank you, Roy, for being here. And